Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Purple Wokey, and I'm back with another video game. Today is Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. Uh, probably a pretty weird game for me to just show off randomly, so I've been playing it on and off. Um, if you don't know what Ukulele in this specific game is, it is a... Uh, well, Ukulele was a kickstarted game uh, made by the people of Rare War. The former people of Rare War who made Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong Country, and all that other stuff. And the original game, Ukulele, was supposed to be a way for them to do a send-up to Banjo-Kazooie. Didn't really live up to any of the hype that had gone around it. And this is basically the sequel to that game that follows instead of trying to be um, Banjo-Kazooie, it tries to be Donkey Kong Country, and it's much better as a Donkey Kong Country game than it is as a Banjo-Kazooie game. So, I just wanted to play it, because I've been having a lot of fun with it, and pretend are not a lot of people probably are giving it a shot, because it's... Ukulele, but I actually really like that they stuck with the ukulele name and kept doing good. So let me go into a level real quick. As you can see, I've been playing a good amount. Let's see, let's do chapter 9. Yeah, right here. There's a whole overworld thing that you can do stuff in, but I'll go in here for now. So go in here. Start the chapter. I've never played it, so this should go good. I mean, I assume we should be going good. Who knows? This game is not easy, as I said before. You also get, like, all these different modifiers. There's a lot of cool modifiers. These are only the ones I've unlocked so far. There's one that turns it into original Game Boy Color and Resolution. Uh, I'm not going to play it for this, because it would be a nightmare, but at some point I will. All right, so here's the game. Whoop. Wait for it. Let me quickly kill this guy. Okay. So, he has googly eyes because I actually gave him a special thingy that makes it so that all enemies have googly eyes. Um, the reason I did that was um, so I would be able to get more quills. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. Go, 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 go. This one's on a number crunch and then if you get it, you get a bunch of feather stuff. Sometimes it's feather stuff, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it is a special token. There are five tokens in the game. What the hell? Okay. So let me go back here real quick to see if I missed anything. Nope, doesn't look like I missed anything. Okay. So yeah. Very similar to Donkey Kong Country. Whoa. The only thing that's really different is... Um, you have way more mobility. <laughs> I'll say it feels like if Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong were the same person. Um, what the only exception is is that if you get hit once, you do lose your little bad friend, which I believe is Laylee. And if you lose Laylee, you lose a lot of mobility and stuff like that. Go. Okay. Again, never. I have not played this level, so I have no idea how it goes. It seems to be a story thing, though. Also, the game is about me getting bees. I'm collecting bees. I'm saving the bees so that they can help me beat another bee man. Makes sense. Alright. There we go. And then I get, I use those coins to pay off a trouser snake to... A snake called Trouser. Um, to unlock higher levels of the place. So, there we go. Yeah. But this game just feels real fun to play in. It has that a uh, good platformer feel, which is that um, it feels fun to actually play around in it. That's really the number one thing I'm looking for in a platformer is that it feels well to feels well feels good to move around in it. Uh, an example of a platformer that doesn't feel well to move around in is Bubsy. So if you know Bubsy Bobcat, that is a platformer from. I want to say the 90s, but they're still making Bubsy games for some reason, but I digress. I can also shoot this um, fruit. That was probably a the fruit, but it's fine. They're usually pretty good about spacing out the coins. Well, except for in one level where I felt like there was a whole bunch of them. I don't know if I should go that way. Let's see. Alright, let's go. Keep going. Oh, actually, I don't think I can... 
seeing just like Banjo, uh, just like Banjo, just like uh, Donkey Kong Country. If you fall off the ledge, you can jump off. So I think I can go up here. So that's what we're gonna do. No, it doesn't look like you can go up there. Okay. These guys. Yeah, they're not too bad of a difficulty. Oh, damn, there's totally something there, isn't there? I feel like them showing me that is them telling me that there's something there. We'll know soon enough, though. Sometimes it's a coin, sometimes it isn't. Oh, oh shit. See, like, for example, that was a little hidden spot, but... It didn't have anything too good in it. Oh god. Alright, so I'm gonna keep this bomb because usually this bomb leads. Usually using this bomb leads to me being in a new area, so. Or revealing to me an area that uses the bomb. So I'm gonna hold on to it. But there's nothing here. Totally is. looking fellow. There we go. Holding on to the bomb for dear life. You never know when something might show up. Damn, that three tells me that we t that, that thing that I looked at totally- ah, oh, damn it. I lost my bomb and I lost- oh no! There we go. I currently have a thing equipped that makes it so that Laylee comes near me, so... Because let me tell you, when you lose Laylee, the game just, oh my god. You turn from this guy who can do basically anything into this lizard who is not as good without Laylee. I wonder if I can... Oh shit. My bomb! God damn it. No, Laylee, come back! So as you can see, without Laylee, I can't... Ah, oh, there we go. Without Laylee, I can't do my little flutter jump. The Dixie Kong jump. Oh, I bet that's where I gotta use the damn bomb, isn't it? It totally is. That's annoying. I mean, I could just die. So the only thing you really lose... Um... God damn it. Come on. Kill me. No. Stay away from me. No! There we go. Damn it! <laughs> I ended up killing him. Oh. Now I have to traverse. The one time I actually want an enemy to kill me and he doesn't end up killing me. And oh man. There's just no winning. Oh shit. That means it's a checkpoint. That means I can't go back to the previous checkpoint. So the one thing I will say that is kind of annoying is that there's no way for me to just reset to the previous checkpoint. I've checked. There's only, like, restart the entire level and that's it. Which sometimes I just don't want. Get away, fat man. Gotta get back my Laylee. Alright. Moving our way up. Here. Uh, we're right there at the end of the level. Shit! <laughs> that was... <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was very dumb. I didn't see the giant chainsaw at the bottom. keep going this way because there's clearly something over here. There's the key. Oh no! Vomit! Alright. 
right, so let me just very quickly... Oh god. Don't shoot me. Don't... Okay. Sorry, Layla. Annoying. No, it's not. Boom! Don't even need Lily. Let's go. Now let's go save the bee. Bee Italian rescued. Not bad. I usually like to try and collect all five at one time. I wonder how it looks like, so I can just immediately go back into that one. See that snake over there? That's who I give the coins to. I think there's just 50 bees in all, I think, in the entire game. Let me go in. Of course, at any time, if you want to try and beat the game, you can just go ahead and beat the game, I think. So I want to try this, but I want to see how it looks like with the Game Boy stuff. Keep the triple spin for now. There we go. And as you can see, I get much less quills now because I'm not using the the googly eyes. Okay. Let's see how it looks like, Jing. Jesus Christ! This? Yeah, this is a... This is a hell of a thing. I feel like the original Game Boy was a lot easier to dis discern, distinguish between than this would let you to believe. Oh god. Well, I mean, I'm doing perfectly fine, to be honest. Maybe this truly is the way for it to go. So yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. That was ukulele. I still have this key in my face, because I have no idea where the hell anything is. I wonder if I can very quickly get that. Let me see if I can. Yeah, if I just rush through the level, I'll we'll probably get there again. Okay. Let me see if I can make my way back there. God, this resolution is insane. Ow! And I lost my ball. Ow! And that's the end of me. Because now I'm stuck down here. Well, again, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Until next time, I'll see you guys in whatever video I decide to You can't even tell what the fuck ukulele- There she is. He is. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.